for today as we get working. And uh, I can show you guys this. This is the finished Gundam artifact. Very small scale. Uh, the Zaku 3. And I this was kind of like my painting project for the for the month. Uh, purple, I'm going to my first book. Bucky's? What is that? Help me out here. Uh, Bombo, that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got known. Yeah, so this is a very small scale uh, Gundam model, uh, or Gunpla model, rather. It's actually maybe a little bit more along the lines of like the size of a Space Marine or something like that, which is really interesting because you can kind of um, approach it in a s similar way to Warhammer, but I don't know, I found it different. Like I thought that the experience would be very similar to painting a Warhammer model, but it actually turned out to be kind of different. It's M Jose, what up Jose? Uh, how you doing Jose? Yeah, we're just kind of getting started before we really kind of get into things. So we're just looking at some stuff. It's like a crazy gas station, really? What's so crazy about it? What did they do there? Almost looks cell shaded. Yeah, I didn't really do much highlighting and natural kind of weathering on this. Uh, none at all, as a matter of fact. And the and the the panel lining is kind of really thick. That's I don't know. That just it just turned out that way. I don't, I don't really intend it. I didn't really intend it to be that way necessarily. But yeah, I'm overall pretty happy with how this turned out. Black was the right choice, uh, Carmi. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was one of those situations where I was kind of like, you know, I kind of like it with the bare wood, as you can see. How's it looking good? Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, see, this is, these are the wooden blocks from Dollarama, once again. Dollar twenty-five, good old Dollarama. And I kind of like the look of it, as I just had the blocks like this. But honestly, it was a little distracting because you had all these patterns, right? And it was kind of taking away from the model. You know, at the end of the day, it's really the model that has to be the focus. And the the base is really intended just to give a little height and, and you know, create a kind of like platform, obviously, for the model. So I think that worked out. Because, you know, if, I, if, if there wasn't a base and I just plonk this thing down on, on my display case, you know, it just really wouldn't have that much presence. But now it has a bit of a presence and it's not too nutty so yeah yeah